it's on. Ooh, uh. Okay, it's a technical presentation, so let's get it started. So about five years ago, I was working with one laptop per child all around Afghanistan. And like a lot of education technology projects, it had huge potential. But the problem is it came with a heavy price tag. So we saw two huge problems in Afghan schools that we thought this could help with. One problem that we saw was the time in school. It's about two and a half hours a day, and it's about half the days in the year. So you can see that getting a full school year in in those hours is going to be pretty tricky. And going back to the time problem, the teachers didn't really have time to check all the homework. So the students here are missing feedback in their learning process. Now, I'm about to show you a graph. And if any of you care about children, you should not sleep tonight. If you really care, you won't sleep for a few more days yet. Behold, this graph shows the time from grades four, five, and six, which is missing if you compare the amount of time that the subject matter specialists and teachers think is needed to teach a lesson versus the amount of time that is actually available in class. So we thought to ourselves, wouldn't it be brilliant if these laptops went home with the children and they would be packed with video, games, audio, exercises, quizzes? Overnight, we would double to triple the time available for learning. And in the same stroke, we could automate a lot of the homework marking and we could alleviate that burden on the teachers and help increase the feedback for the students. Sounds like a good idea, no? Well, the problem with that idea is it would cost roughly double to triple the teachers' salaries over the years. And um, education technology has gone through its series of fads and hype for many, many years. And a recent hype is wouldn't it be great, wouldn't it be amazing if every student and every teacher in every country, everywhere in the world, if only they had a computer, think of how many problems we could solve. Think of the amazing things that we could do. If only they all had a computer. Well, there's good news. Because here, in Afghanistan, the teachers, the parents, and the families a lot of them already have a computer. And it's this computer. This computer has more storage, more processing capacity, and more RAM than my first desktop. I'm 28 years old, by the way, OK? It's not going to the moon. So what I did is I created an app for these simple feature phones called Start Mobile. And Ustart Mobile allows you to transform any curriculum into an interactive audio-visual experience with quizzes, games, and exercises. And you can deliver that experience with the computers that people out there already have in their pockets. And for starters, we've packed the entire Afghanistan National Adult Literacy Curriculum onto a $4 memory card that sits inside of a $40 phone. And literacy is but the beginning of what we can do with this technology. Any topic, agriculture, health, language, we can pack it in to these $40 computers that are spread out all over the country right now. And we can even, unlike with my desktop, these computers can talk to each other. So we can beam information from the student's phone to the teacher's phone. And from the teacher's phone, we can beam information into the decision makers. In short, what you've got is you've got all the benefits of a multi-million dollar e-learning system that would otherwise be delivered using desktops, laptops, 
and high-speed internet connections, you have all that packed into a $40 phone with a memory card. Any basic phone with a memory card is a capable device. And why stop with education? Because we have teams of workers dispersed all over the place. We have extension workers, we have advocates, all the like, and they already have computers. We could help them manage their workflow through simple series of audiovisual prompts with the computers with which they're already familiar. You see, right now, with getting information back, we're going either towards moving paper all over Afghanistan and all the problems of moving paper around Afghanistan, or we have the problem of installing complex infrastructure all over Afghanistan. With these computers that are already there, well, we can have almost all the benefits of installing complex infrastructure without the inconvenience of having to install any additional complex infrastructure. Nice, no? And the best thing, the best thing about the whole deal is it's sustainable. These are the machines that are already out there, even in the remote districts. There are little shops that repair these computers for one or two dollars. This is the machine which is portable, light, small, and capable, and it's already out there just waiting to be used. So let me tell you the good thing about transition in Afghanistan. The good thing is even if you have only a basic feature phone, you see, for transition, there is an app for that. Thank you very much.